Hello, you beautiful people. Today we are doing an Ask the Emissary session. A lovely lady called Astri Groth, hello Astri, has written a really big question. And it's all about the, the, our past. She's asking, you know, what, what is the truth of the past? You know, we're hearing about the Great Reset, the giant trees, you know, our mountains actually just piles of rubbish. Um, is history really as old as we are taught? We're taught thousands and thousands of years and maybe it's just hundreds of years. There's all of the information about the mud floods and she kind of wants to get the spin on what the emissaries think. Now this is really interesting to me because this is what I would call nitty gritty. Right? This is the nitty gritty. And the emissaries have always said that they, that's not their thing and they don't get into the nitty gritty. But I'm sure that they've got something to say about it. So why don't we see? So when I see you next, you won't see me. It'll be the emissaries. It is totally understandable that we wish to look into the past, just as we wish to look into the future understanding where we came from, understanding what the timeline was that brought us to this point is something that cannot be denied. It is interesting. It is fascinating. Similarly, we look out to the future and wonder what that will be, what the future will bring. And that too is equally fascinating. However, we are aware that there is a great lack at the moment, a lack of presence, a lack of presence in the now. The future, certainly on this three-dimensional plane, does not exist. The past is but an echo. There is no substance to the past. The only reality that we actually can experience the only thing that we can actually take hold of that is tangible is now. And we are aware that there has been a great distraction away from now. Some of it is just because the past and the future are very interesting. But much of it has been done on purpose to distract humankind away from the now. Our remit is not to talk of the past, nor is it to talk of details in the future, for we do not have access to that information, or certainly that is not the way that we have been guided to act. There are other beings that do have that access, there are other beings that are focused very much on giving information of this kind. However, we suggest that the focus that we have right now is exactly in that, in the right now. The reason we say that is that the only place that we can actually affect, the only place that we can shift is the now. And of course, by shifting the now, we are creating the future. But let this not be misunderstood. The future cannot be created, but rather it is the present that is manipulated and then that ripples off to create the future. All change happens in the present moment. And it is for that reason that we need to become experts in managing our present, in managing our state, in managing our thoughts, and certainly in managing the way that we dedicate our life, the time that we spend in our activities. And so if we are to spend too much time living in the past, wondering about the past, then we are missing out really on the gift, which is the present. There are many expressions that you have in your language about 
not crying over spilt milk, and that it's water under the bridge. And this is very much what the past is. Equally, when we spend our time in the future, we distance ourselves from emotion. We distance ourselves from our own self, from our own reality. The only real thing that ever exists is now. And many, many scholars have talked about the living in the now to such a point that perhaps it is seen as something that just everybody says. But living in the now really does have substance. When you can control the now, you control yourself. And you control what happens around you. And you control what happens going forward. And so please, view the past as something which can be used as a reference, and a very interesting one at that. And certainly these days, because we are in the period of enlightenment and revelation, many, many things are coming to light. Much of what we believed to be true, much of what we have always been told that is true, is starting to appear to be shoddy in its formulation. Remember too that this reality within which we live is no more real than any imagination. This reality is formed through what happens to us in the present, the way that we think in the present. And because the light is getting brighter, then it's for this reason that these fundamental stories, these laws of the universe are falling apart because they were never based on anything of substance, because this reality is not based on anything of substance. And so to try and pin down truths is too difficult. It's not necessary, for really there are no truths except one principal truth. That principal truth is that we are all beings, divine beings, that have all come from one source. And we are on the greatest adventure ever, creating and recreating our reality, experiencing and experiencing again what it means to be multi-dimensional, what it means to be divine. And so, we are aware that we have not given details of the past, for that is not our role. But trust that as time progresses, more and more details will come to light, and more and more contradictions will be seen. The problem that we have is that because this reality is not what we think it is, Many of the pieces of information that we get do not fit together properly. So we must become accustomed to that. We must become accustomed to living in uncertainty, to living without clarity, because the existence of the divine is not tied to rules and regulations but rather it is tied to creation. And so we send you blessings and we look forward to speaking to you again in the near future.